Right. I, mean, I don't see Eugene being in any hurry to win this thing. He's got a monster chip lead. He just doesn't stub his toe. I'm sure he feels like he can get this guy. As we've seen already, very meticulous when he makes his decisions as to how much to bet. Never rushes a decision. You gotta like the demeanor of this player, Vince, no doubt about it. And he's gonna come over the top here. He's gonna raise it to a little over a million dollars. Looks like a six hundred and fifty thousand dollar raise here. Well the old coach here. Better be careful, he's gonna get flagged with a penalty here. Okay. And indeed he's making this call with the King Eight of Clubs. Very marginal call in my mind. Let's see how it works out for him. Hoping to catch Lucky. Here's our flop. Oh, flop is queen four, deuce with two diamonds. Dream flop for Eugene. He's got top pair and top kicker. Eugene first to act. Yeah, he's taking a long time to decide what to do. Do you want to bet this or not? There's over two million in the pot, so I can't imagine you'd check and give your opponent a free card that might beat you. That's and indeed he's not. He's betting 420000 and this is what we call a post oak bluff, so to speak, a small bet into a pretty good sized pot that's got over two million in it. And the coach is trying to figure it out. Is he just making a small bet to try to steal a pot? If so, I could come over the top, maybe take it away. Or is it a big me call type of bet, which indeed it is. Ted gives him credit for having something because he lays it down. So Eugene Ketchalov taking one step closer to crossing that finish line and capturing his first WPT title. Heads up action continuing. Eugene out in front. Will the 26-year-old take home the 2.5 million? We're coming back for more on the World Poker Tour. This is the fifth day straight, I think, that I've worn this shirt. My wife wants to wash it every night, but I won't let her. That's a baseball tradition. And when you get on a winning streak, you don't change your clothes. You stay with what you got. back to the WPT. We are coming from Las Vegas, Nevada at Bellagio for the Doyle Brunson Five Diamond World Poker Classic. Heads up action continues. And right now, Eugene Kachalov, the 26-year-old out of New York, is our chip leader with a massive $18 million in chips. And the old coach, Ted Curley, sitting on about $1.7 million in chips. And Vince, he was an old baseball player, he told me. And right now, he's got to be thinking it's the bottom of the ninth and he's about eight runs down. Let's see if he can come back and win the game. All right, action's going to go on, Eugene. He's got the button. He's got a 9-8. Well, Eugene limps in and calls on the button. And right behind him, Coach Curley with a jack six of diamonds. Content to see a flop. Here it is. Well, the flop comes queen 10-5. No help for Ted. A gut shot straight draw for Eugene. Action is on the old coach. Yes, it is. Nothing hitting there. Looks down at his nothing hand. I'm all in. Jay. He's wow. going to go all in with it. Well, there you go, coach. There's a flea flicker for him, and it gets him <laughs> a first down. Oh, man, Eugene mucking his hand before coach could even finish his sentence. Nicely done. Sometimes in this game, you just got to get mad as heck, and you just can't take it anymore, and you got to push with absolutely nothing. Well, especially when you're playing heads-up poker. Most of the time when you're playing heads-up poker... It's a battle of unpaired cards. Your opponent won't have a pair. You won't have a pair. You only hit the flop 30% of the time. So most of the time, you're not guy's not going to hit a flop. So if you're betting at the pot, chances are he hasn't hit the flop, and you're going to win if you bet. I'm going to raise. Uh, two, back down to this action, and once again, coach with just an 8-7 uh, 